All right, welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to another video. Today, today we're going to get into a variety of topics, but this first topic we're going to get into, I have confirmation proof that Tesla has lowered their interest rate for some buyers and they are offering a slightly lower rate than what is posted onto the website. So we'll take a look at that, the screenshot proof, plus a variety of different topics today. We're going to keep it pretty chill and hang out this Sunday evening so if you have any other questions if you have questions about buying a tesla selling a tesla definitely drop it down below in the description but before we get into any of that let's roll that intro real quick All right, so thanks for watching another stream. Thanks for watching another video. My name is Dennis, and I love talking about Tesla hacking, as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best thing on Tesla at the best financing rate. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. And today's video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link down below in the description where you can get access to the ultimate Tesla buying guide out there that has links to all the credit union and, and banks that all have interest rates lower than Tesla financing to finance your Tesla at a very low rate. Some of them, some of them even as low as 3.7 to 2.9. So definitely check it out. Patreon link down below in the description. And shout out to my latest Patreon member. We've got Akshay who just joined a few moments ago. That's going to schedule a call. Thank you, Akshay. And uh, thank you for everyone that comes in, all the like button, all the comments, and all the support. So thank you for that. But let us get into this. So if you don't know what's going on right now, there is a Tesla Model 3 and there's a Tesla Model Y. Most recently, there was price increases of $250 across the board. And the biggest thing to me was that the price increase happened on a Monday or Tuesday, which was super weird at the end of the day for me. Taking a look at all the different price history tracking chart, you can see it from this Tesla car price history tracker. We just did a price increase on Feb on May 1st, which was not too long ago, almost a week ago. And we know Tesla, Elon, and the executive team takes a look at these changes or production inventory changes on a week-to-week -week basis. So maybe there could be something coming up this coming week with inventory and price changes. Who knows? I mean, we're only in the first week of May, so so I really don't think there's going to be any sort of update in th this next week and until we get closer to like the end of the month when Tesla starts to get a little bit more antsy at the end of the day. But Model Y is a for sure better deal than the Model 3. We talked about how the pricing disparity between the two vehicles and how really a Model Y long range at the price of 50240 If you factor in this tax credit, this 7500 federal tax credit and pay for this vehicle and if you factor in that pricing, the Model Y long range is seven hundred and fifty dollars lower than the lower than the Model Three long range variant uh, covariant right here. And of course, this Model Three is just brand new; it just came back very recently, and it's got this weird three hundred and twenty-five mile range. Some speculate or have confirmed from what people are saying that is the it is the LFP battery, and that is why it only qualifies for half of the tax credit, thirty-seven or three thousand seven hundred and fifty. $50. But let's get into the meat and potatoes. So basically right now, if you go to Tesla, Tesla's website and you purchase a vehicle, you find one in inventory or you place some sort of order, if you go to the financing section, you see that it says 5.59%. Of course, this is through Tesla financing. When you go through and apply for this, what happens is Tesla actually matches you with various banks out there. It could be Chase, Wells Fargo, and Bank of America, or it could actually be Tesla financing themselves. We've seen screenshots most recently, and of course, Elon and the Tesla executive team have noted and wrote, wrote down that they would love to get into more financial or financing ownership vehicles for buyers, but uh, they're probably going to test it out here and there. But recently we found out that a newcomer, at least within the past three months, a newcomer of TD, Amer TD Bank or TD Bank, I can pull it up on the screen, not Ameritrade because I think that's a separate one, but anyways, TD Bank started to do loan program or to do financing for US American customers it, through Tesla financing. So you actually wouldn't do a Tesla financing loan through Tesla. Tesla would then match you with one of those banks. And one of those banks could be a newcomer, which is TD Bank. 
And so we started to hear rumblings that people are getting lower financing rates than 5.59%. And actually, shout out to Dave the Barber. Thank you for sending me a screenshot and a hopefully good luck with your Tesla purchasing because I think they have a delivery coming up very, very soon. But Dave the Barber sent me a screenshot of their back end app of Tesla, Tesla ownership portal. So you can see right here on the screen, TD Bank, 72 months at 5.49%, which is point 10 or point 0.1 lower than Tesla's financing at 5.59% right here. So interesting stuff because like if this is existing and we can see screenshots right here that is proof and if Tesla is doing this, why have they not adjusted the website to reflect that? Why are they still showing a 5.59% with all these different payment calculators? Because at the end of the day, 0.1% is not going to be too much, too much difference. I mean, it is going to have some sort of effect on the monthly payment. It, but we can see it right here on the screen with an estimated seventeen and a half thousand dollars down with a monthly payment of six hundred and ninety dollars and fifty six months fifty six fifty six cents a month but Definitely some pretty interesting stuff that Tesla is starting to lower the interest rates. And this is good news. This is good news for everybody that is, or is buying, about to buy a Tesla, has Teslas on orders because Tesla is certainly getting slightly more aggressive at the end of the day to get some sort of financing. So if you're curious on what or how much that it could affect a monthly payment, so I've got a hypothetical Model Y out the door at like 8% tax, a Model Y all-wheel drive standard range, and 8% for taxes, fees, and DM fees. We got 5.59 set in in the calculator right here. So you can see right on the screen that is a monthly payment of $900.90. And that's total loan interest of $9,864. So if we drop this down 0.1%, it's not going to be huge, but there will be some sort of effect. You can see it goes down to $898, so like a $3 difference a month. And the total interest goes down a couple hundred dollars down to $9,679. Now, of course, there are plenty of ways to get lower interest rates, some even as low as 3.7% down to 2.99%. You can get the list of all the best interest rates and credit unions and banks and everything down below at my Patreon link down below where you can get access to my the ultimate Tesla buying guide. And on top of that, if you want a different way to finance, this video is actually sponsored by Tenet. Tenet allows you to finance your Tesla or refinance your Tesla a little bit differently. They do this by working with credit unions and banks out there to defer a portion of that loan, maybe even that 7,500 federal tax credit all the way to the end. This results in a lower monthly payment. And so that's, that's how you get to use tenant, uh, which is good for people. That is good for uh, people that want higher cash flow on a monthly basis, maybe even business owners. So definitely check out tenant and thank you to tenant for sponsoring this video and a bunch of other videos this month and ch uh, check out tenant down below in the description but definitely some cool stuff that Tesla is starting to lower the interest rate just a little bit. And so this is definitely good news for all of us that are on the fence because I'm kind of interested in maybe potentially buying another Model Y on top of that because it would not not be a bad idea. I think it would be good as a daily driver, but and I, I've already racked up like almost 5,000 miles on the Model X and I feel like we should tamper that down just a little bit. But let me know what your thoughts. Let me know what you're thinking. If you got, have received 5.49%, definitely drop it in the comments comments or even the live stream. And if you've gotten any lower than that from Tesla financing, definitely send me a DM, send me some proof so we can alert to everybody else out there uh, for if for buying a Tesla. But uh, we're going to jump into the next topic. But before we do that, this video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link. Down below in the description is the Patreon link where you can support the channel. So definitely check it out if you're interested.